Hello and welcome to the Bonsai Garden. It's now May, which means that the deciduous trees have come into leaf and the first flush has hardened off. And so at this time of year, I'm starting to fertilize the trees and also I need to make sure that I'm watering them more regularly. Now that the leaves are beginning to harden off in the first flush of growth, I'm starting to fertilize my trees and I'm using Bio Gold as a fertilizer and I just place a couple of little cakes into the pots and that will wear down and exhaust itself over perhaps about three or four months. And come August time, I will put more in the pots to uh, provide the plants with a boost of energy just before they go into dormancy. For my own bonsai fertilizer regime, I tend to use Bio Gold cakes. Bio Gold's a little bit on the pricey side, but it's a highly regarded solid, slow release bonsai fertilizer. And what I tend to do is I'll pop several pellets into each pot in early May, and perhaps again in August, September time, as I water my trees, uh, those pellets will reduce down over time. And all I do is press a couple of these fertilizer cakes into the soil around the pot. And for a pot of about this size, I'll perhaps put four of those in around the edges of the pot. For a slightly larger tree, I'll put a proportional larger amount in there. These will degrade down over time, which is why I apply a second application in about August, September time. I also then supplement that with perhaps a monthly or every other month seaweed liquid fertilizer. There's a bit of a tonic in the pot. So now that the temperatures are warming up and we're getting brighter the hotter days, I have to make sure that I just regularly water the trees more often. So whereas through winter and autumn I may not have even bothered watering, or maybe once a week if required, uh, I now need to probably start moving to a more regular watering once a day regime just to make sure that there's sufficient water on the trees. I also need to be careful to check any wire that's on trees at this time of year because those trees are beginning to uh, move and flush out and grow what that means is that those branches are beginning to thicken up and there's an increased possibility that the wire will start to bite in and I just need to make sure that I remove that wire in good time to avoid any scarring on the branches. You can see that my deciduous trees are putting on quite a growth spurt and here's one of my Japanese maples and there is probably 
about five inches of growth on there and that is beginning to harden off now and at this point the tree has recouped the energy that it expended on uh, growing leaves the stored energy that it had over winter has now been used to generate this first flush of leaves and at some point very soon i will start trimming those back to promote ramification and to recover the shape of the tree Before I talk more about jobs in the bonsai garden in May, I just need you to boot the like button and share the love. And if you want to improve your bonsai trees and learn the secrets of how I grow mine, then hit the subscribe button to be notified of future videos. May is also the month when azaleas come into bloom. And this is the first of my azaleas to open up. And it's this brilliant red colour. That's fairly stunning. My Greenwood Bonsai Azalea hasn't opened yet. And I'm not sure it shows signs of flowering this year. You can see here that the pine trees are putting out candles, those are extending. There are a couple of instances where those have also got tiny little purple flowers. Some people remove those because they say that it saps energy from the tree. I'm never greatly convinced of that, I think the amount of energy that those flowers would take up is absolutely minimal and I'd rather prefer the aesthetic beauty of the flowers. You can see that my crab apple tree has now gone over and that the blossoms have fallen from there. Each of these flowers will now eventually turn into a tiny little apple. This is the tiny Korean hornbeam tree, which I worked on with Xavier Martinez in a previous video. And we critiqued this tree. And in leaf, that's looking uh, really quite pleasing. My oaks are now pushing out into leaf and you can see a couple of examples here. Oak and beech are always amongst the last trees to leaf out in the spring. A lot of people have reported issues with Chinese elms this year. We had a particularly dry um, late summer last year uh, with droughts and water shortages. And then we went into quite a cold winter with quite some deep frosts and it's quite icy. And I think that's caused some problems with those Chinese elms and several people have reported losing a number of their Chinese elms. In the bonsai garden here, it's not been an issue. My trees are all now in leaf. The cork bark elms lost their leaves through winter and are now putting on tiny little leaves. And the regular Chinese elms kept hold of their leaves, although they sort of bronzed and changed colour. And those are now putting out tiny new leaves too. My trident maples are also coming to leaf, including this tiny root over rock example that I have here. This is what I now believe is a Chinese quince, which I bought from Heron's Bonsai. The Japanese and the Chinese quince were on the uh, benches together, and I thought I picked up the Japanese quince, but maybe not from the leaves. 
to me this looks like a Chinese quince. It's flowered much later than my other Chinoma leaves and the leaves are larger and more glossy. You can see here a tray of the Japanese maple seeds which I planted up and I had quite a bit of success. At some point I will need to think about moving these on into individual pots. But there's an array of different types of Japanese maples in there and you can see that in the variety of the leaves and the colours. Let me know if you had any of the Japanese maple seeds that I sent out and whether you've had any success. I hope you found that inspirational or informative. If so, please hit the like button. And if you're interested in learning how to develop a rapid nabari on your bonsai trees or the secrets of bonsai fertilizers, then keep watching for the links at the end of this video. And thanks for watching.